Good morning, guys. It is really early in the morning. Me and Eli were up late last night. I'm always up late because I'm reading, but yesterday at 10 p.m., we were still patching holes and uh, painting a little bit my closet. We took out the wire framing, took everything out of there actually. So it's like a vacant room. There's echo because today I'm getting my closet redone. I have someone coming here and installing a brand new closet. It's been a long time coming. I actually had the consultation I think back in October, which was a long time ago. So I'm so excited the day is finally here for the closet to be installed and I can get my life together. Honestly, I hated this closet. It was a mess. I still had moving boxes from two years ago, which is insane i'm gonna be able to organize my clothes better store them better thing i ordered a kind of vanity desk um so i could save a little bit of money there not making a whole vanity for myself actually oh my gosh remembered i have to get a chair for it doesn't come until january though i have to show you guys the rendering of how we design the closet i'll pop it up in the screen now so you can see this is how it's gonna look it's gonna be a light oak exactly how i want it i wanted it to still be kind of like organic and warm in there hence why i didn't go with ikea furniture that and it would have been around the same price it would have been a little bit cheaper but not counting the time that I would have to spend building it all and this is all gonna installed in like two hours max three so i'd rather that than hours and hours lost making my ikea closet i have a bunch of home updates for you guys oh my gosh i went a little bit crazy during black friday it's when i usually like to get furniture and uh, it's been two years since we've been in this house or almost two years it's um taken a while We've taken our sweet, sweet time uh, decorating the whole place. I ordered some rugs. I think it, they're ready to pick up, but only um, late December. But I'll show you guys all the other home decor that we've started doing. If you guys want to get ahead of the content, make sure you're following me on TikTok because I'm kind of updating that more frequently. I'm starting a home series vlogs there and I've already put some stuff up. We become Bob the Builder, even though we are so not handy and this vlog is gonna be kind of a compilation of uh, all the home updates everything that i kind of did with the new stuff that we got over here kind of giving you guys behind the scenes especially when it comes to the closet but yeah just wanted to give you guys that quick update and uh, they're gonna be here any second they're gonna be here any second i'm answering the door like this just got here and the closet is being stalled right now so i thought that while that is going on we could sit down and uh, catch up so i just wanted to catch you guys up to speed on what ended up happening ever since uh, the consultation happened in around october i want to say and so we went with the company here and it was really great because the consultation was free so she was able to come here see the space for herself measure everything out from ceiling to floor from window to window wall to wall literally she measured everything asked what my priorities were my needs i told her everything that i wanted but also the budget that i kind of wanted to stick to we ended up going a little bit over the budget because i couldn't sacrifice some things that i truly needed for the space i could have i could have done more but i can always add later on the road i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys the design that we ended up going with here on the screen right now so this is the final design that we ended up doing four drawers and then a bunch of open shelf drawers but nothing of course beats seeing the design in real life which i'm so excited to do the reveal but yeah you guys i've already told you guys how much i hated my old closet and uh, to kind of customize my own is this huge blessing that i'm so excited to share with you guys too so i can't wait for it to be ready and uh, and we can finally organize everything together okay guys this is the reveal i already had a peek of course but this is you guys this time first seeing how it turned out i am so excited this came out exactly the way that i wanted to and i could not be happier let me just pop you guys here so i could explain the whole reasoning behind 
what I did what I did so uh, right now you're sitting on the wall with my window it's kind of an awkward window kind of higher up it's square and uh, it offers like little to minimal lighting honestly and uh, right on the wall is where I'm gonna put my vanity and uh, where I'm gonna put my makeup and I think my fragrance and where I'm gonna sit do my makeup and film content for you guys and this is what you're gonna be seeing this side of the closet this is where my shoes are gonna be I did all of these shelves just for shoes and I think hats at the top there along all of the top it's empty it's open space and uh, these top two I was of course thinking about putting my tops my sweaters my jackets blazers there but then my mom pointed out a really good thing I could put pants there because then I have this bottom shelf free um and I could put extra stuff folded here because the pants would sit higher up and then the tops and the cardigans here below so let me know what you guys think what side you're on team maria or team mom and then i have a wall just for my dresses it's long and that way i don't have to fold it up it's just gonna be laying there and then i have another shelf above that that i was thinking for like flasher purses that i wanted to showcase and then coming back around open shelves that i wanted to just put like sweats on like foldable stuff that is just gonna sit well and not look too messy her shelf is where i wanted to put jewelry trays and organizers so it could just sit there and i could have access to it very easily on an every day to day basis i cannot lie i already went ahead and uh, put some things in here i have uh, four drawers here and on the first one of course i put intimate stuff and then on the other ones here i think i'm gonna put some uh, tops like tank tops and t-shirts some pajamas and then uh, yeah above that is stuff that i'm just gonna fold and tuck away i think i'm gonna organize shoes first so they can be all looking very pretty here and then uh, we'll see what we have time for today okay so i started putting the shoes away and i just wanted to show you guys how easy and customizable these shelves are i am just gonna go shelf by shelf shoe by shoe to kind of see the height of every shoe that i have i found out i have mostly heels so i just want to make space for them and these shelves i think can store three shoes so far i've only been storing two because i'm trying to categorize them like these are flats and closed toe shoes so i'm gonna keep them here this shelf can't move but every other shelf you saw how easy it is to customize in the bottom here i put all my boots i need boots i also have these boots that i put here and you guys are gonna see they're creased up but it's just because i kept them in storage for so long they kind of lost its shape and looks limp like that but yeah but it's looking like this so far I just put it up, but I have too much clothes. That is a first world problem, but it's way too much. If I want anything else or if I have anything else, it wouldn't fit. This is a lot. You guys, my vanity desk came. I'm so surprised because it said it wasn't going to be here until like end of January. 
and I'm filming this like the second week of December. Okay, Wayfair. I immediately want to build it by myself. I don't want to wait for anyone or anything because I'm so impatient and I need it now. I need it yesterday. I put my hair in a braid also for the first time since, I don't know, junior high because it's so dirty and it gets so oily so fast. It makes me so upset. I can fry an egg with the oil in my head. I am going to clear my workspace. I had a peek. I needed to know if the shade of the wood that I ordered was gonna be right and match my drawers. Kinda is, kinda isn't. So the desk is this color here and on the bright sunlight, it's fairly light oak, very warm and stuff and there's a lot of texture. It's not exactly the same as you can see. It's kind of like the same undertone. I don't know, a withered white. It's close enough. Let's unbox more. And I want to build this right now because my makeup, all of it, is in my bathroom. I need it to have its own space. Like, one thing about me is that I need things to be in their own space at all times. It brings me peace of mind. And when they're not like that, it's when I spiral found the assembly instructions. Okay, I'm glad there's not a lot of pieces. Oh no, all the tools are at the bottom of the box. Okay, hopefully I don't need any tools. You guys, there's three steps. Look at this, three steps should be easy enough. These are the tools, these are the woods and there's I think five pieces here. I'm gonna get started and I'll circle back when it's built hopefully and standing in one piece. This is what it looks like. I bought this as a console table, which I thought would be fine. I basically thought that console desks or tables just meant that they were like skinnier, but it's actually a coffee table. It is so low, like it hits below my hips. And uh, I found it, not I found it, but I had this ottoman from my office that I just brought down here because I'm just gonna use it as a seat since it's like so low to the ground but basically this is what i have to sit on so i could like do my makeup comfortably but it's so low like look at this i did this to myself i it'll do it'll do for now here at this distribution center to pick up uh, some things that I ordered back during Black Friday, I think. So I... Let's put the windows up. And we're close to the airport. That's why there's planes flying around. But we're here to pick up some things that I ordered during Black Friday. It was these two rugs from... Uh, Crate and Barrel, I think. It was honestly so long ago now that I totally forgot about it. Hopefully it fits in the car. Hopefully. I honestly am not sure, but we'll see. Hopefully it fits. Uh, yeah, the only way we can do that is to put it between the seats. Sure. Okay. You're good. Yay! And now we go to Home Depot. Because we need to get, what is it? Anchors, anchors. Anchors, screws, or whatever. Anchors and screws. For the Ikea curtains in our living room. Because we didn't get that, and we had no idea that we needed it, but you do. And then I have to pick this up. This is a partial slip. I need to pick it up from Canada Post. Why is the Crane Barrel pick up so far from Crane Barrel? We're so close to the airport. I thought 
thought I could do a little home sense haul and actually a little Ikea haul. There's just a lot of things that I got for the house lately and I just wanted to show you guys before we put it all away. But okay, so from home sense, I got a few things. Not this. I don't know why I picked this up. I will link my Amazon storefront in the description. In it, I have curated a list full of home stuff. This is included in one of them. And it's just really cute things that I found for the home that are really aligned with that cottage, barn house vibe. Also just very homey and vintage. So I also got this frame right here and it just reminds me of the French countryside. And it came in the frame, which is really good. So I have this as well. Both of them are from Amazon. And then from HomeSense, okay. I got this vase here. It's just a wooden vase, very nice. And I've been very scared of buying like dark decor pieces for my home for the longest time. And this is honestly one of the first things that I bought that are like really dark. Um, not like black either, because I have gravitated towards like black and white, that modern thing, but like a true dark wooden something, like I've never really went for it until this house, which I'm really glad it kind of have given me the freedom. And maybe with age too, you kind of just want things that are more classic, old time me. This is also another vase that I got from Home Sense. It was actually handcrafted in Portugal, which is a nice touch. The land of my colonizers, because I'm from Brazil. And this is honestly such a nice, like, I don't even know the material, but it's super earthy and organic. So it's gonna add a nice touch. All of these things are gonna go in my shelving that I put up. This kind of inbuilt shelving that I put on right beside um, the fireplace and the TV here in the living room. I also have this like book stopper. It's like this crystal, so nice. And then I already put in this bunch of uh, lavender because I want to see if it fit and it does. Also from HomeSense. I went to a good home since and I snagged a bunch of stuff that I'm super happy with. And then you guys, I am a self-proclaimed horse girl. So I got a bunch of these pictures from Amazon. It's also linked down below in my Amazon storefront of these horses. I have another one, let me show you. It came with four horse posters and I just framed them all in this home sense frame. I have this one in my kitchen and this one in my shelves. Lastly, I got this Architectural Digest coffee table book. I'm sure me and literally half the population of the world have this book if you're into interior design and uh, home stuff. So I'm gonna put this up and come decorate with me. So the story behind the shelving is that I've always envisioned built-in shelves for this wall nook. There was like an obvious kind of indentation in the wall and I just always thought it would be really pretty to have floating shelves, especially floating shelves. It was very hard to find floating shelves. I looked at Etsy and every option that I looked was very expensive. I'm not very confident with DIY home projects even though I do them actually all the time. And then with this project, I really just swung it by being shameless. I asked around my friend group and uh, asked for help to put this up and a boyfriend of my best friend decided to help very kindly. So he was the one that put this up for me. The shelves itself are from Ikea. I cut them with a wood cutter because it only comes in two sizes, I believe, either really short or really long, which was this instance. So I cut it short, installed it, and then as a finishing touch, I kind of put molding around so it looks like it was kind of built in the wall. Also because it was very tricky to fit inside here. So I have to cut it shorter than it was supposed to. I have to go in, touch it up. If you would like to do this yourself, I have a TikTok video of how I put this up, which hopefully gives you some insight on how I did it. And if you have any questions, you can comment on that video or comment on this one down below and I'll try to help out as much as I can. There's also a lot of tutorials on TikTok or how to put IKEA floating shelves up. But look how cute that looks. 
I almost forgot to show you guys what I got from Ikea, but one of the things includes this uh, curtain railing. And uh, this is called the Vidka system. It can be either put on the ceiling or against the wall. And of course, for this one that we started doing, we opted for the ceiling one. There's even like a corner piece that we started putting right here. And this is going to outline the whole wall of windows in my living room. And it's really going to make the walls look so much higher and like more luxurious, which I am so excited for. I got these curtains. Rosen Rovinia is the name of the curtains that I got if you guys wanted to get the same look um, I don't know if we're gonna put these up and finish all of them in time for this vlog to go up Probably not but if anything I can uh, fill you guys in on Instagram stories or TikTok So follow me there because I've been documenting a lot of the home projects that I've done over there I started to put the curtains up look at that that whole side needs to be done though and then we are literally just missing like three inches off the end for it to fill out the whole window so we're gonna have to literally cut it why do things in my home just like are they're so difficult but anyways we just had dinner and look the rug is so cute I just wanted to sign out of this vlog because it's going to be the end of the vlog but it's just been a compilation of a lot of days and honestly weeks of uh, getting things putting things together um but i just wanted to put all of the home updates into one vlog because a lot of it happened within the span of a month and a half i want to say we did a lot to the house and a lot has changed oh my gosh i completely forgot those are our new dining chairs by the way I literally totally forgot to mention it. They just came in from Wayfair. Well, not just came in. It's been a while, but I haven't documented anything about it. We built it in like the dead of night. There's some four new chairs, as you can tell, but I love them. They're like Raton and the seats have like a cushion and I just love the look. We're gonna change that too. We bought it from Ikea, a new um, chandelier. So wait, never mind. I guess I'm just gonna have to do another home update vlog, but I had fun documenting everything that we did in this vlog because it was still eventful. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.